In this video we will talk about logistic regression. So, this can be a part of non-linear regression. There are other ways to do the non-linear regression like uh, polynomial, multiple polynomial, square x square s cube, but let us see the logistic regression in this video. It is a non-linear regression and uh, it is actually not a, a regression for continuous variables, it is for the classification like classifying the whether variable is uh, in this x1 or uh, y1 or y2 or the student will pass the exam or not pass the exams. In a linear regression, if you substitute the marks and attendance, you might be able to predict the student's performance in the final score say 75.5, uh, 79.6, something like that, right. But in a logistic equation, it is not that, it is actually say a, the student will pass the exam or not pass the exam. So, it is a classification. So, we saw the difference between classification and regression in our previous lectures. So, basically logistic regression is a sigmoid function, okay. What is sigmoid function is this uh, exponential of t divided by 1 plus exponential of t. Uh, what is exponential function? This is just plotted exponential function to uh, just show what is exponential function. It is not needed because everybody uh, knows that what is exponential function look like, right. So, um, so this will never be 0, right. So, for infinite uh, it will be 0, uh, but this kind of, sorry. This kind of rises exponentially. So, it is exponential function. So, it is always good to make exponential steps and uh, we see this exponential curve in uh, recent cases, right. Uh, you, if you know where I am talking about. So, it is an exponential curve is possible, right. So, if you have this exponential curve uh, in this particular formula that is called sigmoid function. Uh, somebody know uh, the log odds or log it might able to connect this. Actually, it is an inverse uh, logic function or uh, log odd or logic function. You know, in logic or log odd, you have to consider not only the, uh, the probability of getting the true value, also the, the non true value is actually 1 minus probability of true. So, we do not want to go detail about uh, logistic regressions and logit or log odds, do not worry about that. Uh, Let us try to understand how this logistic regression and what is the function and uh, how the classification differ from regression that is enough for this video. So, if I compute uh, in this exponential terms, let us me compute this. If I compute that uh, for, uh, for a sigmoid function uh, applying um, E equal to 0 for example, let us see what is equal to 0. Uh, for a 0 this value is 1, okay. for 0 this value is 1. Let me do this here. So, consider the sigmoid of 0 equal to e power 0 divided by 1 plus e power 0, uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 1, 1 by 2, it is 0.5. Uh, the 0 will be 0.5, you know, somewhere here. So, this will be like that, okay. This will be uh, 0, this maximum will be 1, which will never be 1 basically. So, let me, uh, it is not so correct. So, okay. So, if I want to put that in the regression, um, probability of uh, y being yes or no uh, or probability of y being pass or fail can be given as uh, e equal to x1, x2, x3 and b0 and uh, e power t. It is e power t divided by 1 plus e power t plus 1, okay. The t value is exactly what we computed in a, a regression formula. You see the regression like uh, y equal to uh, mx plus c, right? Uh, the, the b1, b, b n is a weight, x1 is the like uh, independent variable and b0 is the intercept. So, given a data, the model tries to fit this particular equation. Given a lot of training data, this model try to fit into this equation. After fitting this equation, we can this use this equation to predict the future uh, training data, that simple as it is. So, do not worry how this fits into the model, uh, that is not, uh, let us not go into detail of elastic regression here. Instead, this is the formula 
there is a model which tries to fit the given data into this particular model creates the answer for that like what is x1 and x2 and what is the uh, b0 that is it. So, it is similar to the uh, linear regression where we get a weights weight 1, weight 2 or with till weight n and intercept value is the trained model. What is the trained model? The y predict equal to uh, intercept plus weight 1 x1, the weight 1 intercepts are trained model. Similarly, in logistic regression also you will get a uh, weights b0, b1, b2, bn. Okay. Given that value you can use that value to predict the future things. For example, compute the weights coefficient using the training value and use that to predict the future values. If the future value probability is greater than 0.5, you can put it as a yes, if it is less it will be 0. What is 0.5? We saw that 0.5 in a sigmoidal function is uh, at a 0th value. This 0 can be moved that is called the intercept is coming into picture. Okay. Uh, so, 0 0.5 is the value above poverty 0 0.5 you can group them into one particular classifier below 0 0.5 can be other classifiers. You remember that uh, we saw to compute the metrics in machine learning we used the probability classifiers is used widely and uh, they are uh, using these classifiers uh, to predict the probability of outcome and we can adjust the threshold of probability to improve the uh, you know uh, recall value and pressure value you plot at area under curve right. If you remember that things uh, that is how this probability is used. Okay. So, you knowing what is logistic regression and linear regression. In linear regression uh, the plot is linear, in a logistic regression the line is not linear, it is a non-linear function. In the both model you give a input data, you get a train data in form of uh, uh, intercept weight 1 and weight 2 in both model. But linear model fits simply into linear equation and in logistic equation it fits into a sigmoid function that is the difference. But what is the other difference between linear equation and logistic equation? Can you list down? After list, listing it down, listen the video to continue. So, it is simple it is a continuous versus categorical data in linear equation it is a continuous and it is a categorical yes or no pass or fail or multiple classes not just two classes binomial or more ok. Do not uh, think uh, lost equation will be only two class the multiple ways to do the multi class classification. And uh, linear regression is easy to interpret ok it is just a line you can say this is the weight of this particular value. Uh, it means uh, keeping this all other variables constants the x1 as x1 is dependent on y1 in this particular scale. But in logistic equation also it is very easy uh, because it also gives you the weight 1, weight 2, but it varies based on the functions you use, the train function you use, but uh, it is also easy, it is not tough. And uh, error minimizing method in a linear regression we saw is um, uh, least square, um, least mean square right. Uh, we saw the difference between predicted value and actual value is used to predict the best objective function. But in logistic equation it uses ML method, uh, maximum likelihood method to do that. So, that is the difference. So, we are not dealing with the training of a logistic equation in this video. Okay. So, in this video we introduced uh, what is logistic regression uh, that is the purpose of this course we do not want to go detail of logistic regression. Again if you want to know more about logistic regression please go and watch uh, introduction to machine learning by professor Andrew and she uh, videos available freely in uh, YouTube he explains it very 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 good. Also remember that most of the data science or data prediction happens today by using logistic regression. Although we have very sophisticated softwares or sophisticated classifiers or deep learning for better image classification or voice recognition. Uh, in a basic data or classification of uh, fraud detection or spam or anti-spam or a lot of other things, those regression is used. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.